for the channel. Still have my 06. I still have this one right here, the 97, which I've been working on forever. Uh, I have the title for that one. It's ready to roll. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put that on eBay probably later today or tomorrow. But anyway, what we're doing right now, we're going to do a quick walk around of this bike that I'm sitting on. Um, it's, a <laughs> it's, a, it's the newest one that I got. It's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. It's, it's a 1991 original owner. I have every single piece of documentation with it from the receipt, from the first purchase up until I registered it today. It's like in my name. Um, I got a couple things right here. It's only missing these two pieces right here, and these are new old stock graphics. I'm gonna put those right now in this video. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's not gonna be a long video, it's hot as hell. Uh, just jumped out of the swimming pool. Um, but I do plan on doing a couple things to this bike. Um, and maybe we'll talk about those, maybe we won't. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch, because you'll see in just a second, it's really nice. It is it is a barn find. It's Like I said, it's a one owner, perfect condition needs nothing um, and, and everything's there except for these two which we're going to take care of today right now um, I, I was going to say something else but i can't remember what it was so without further ado let's check this thing out it's, it's cool I thought it was going to go into Beck Loser there for a second there. Um, let's take a look real quick. Uh, this is some of the uh, footage where the audio is messed up, so I'm just going to record over. Uh, check out the bike. This is a 1991 Yamaha Banshee, original owner. I'll show you the mods. Uh, kill switch right there. It's a tether kill switch. You would wrap it around your wrist. If you fall off, it turns the bike off. Old school IMS to shift lever. I love that thing. It's super cool. And the last but not least, the Renthal pad on the OEM bars. Three mods, otherwise the bike is 100% stock. Uh, oh yeah, the Bad Boy Club sticker on the back. What a cool piece that is. I will definitely be leaving that on there. Clean bike. There's some scuffs and stuff here and there. I might, I might repaint the wheels. I don't really know if I'm going to. I am going to do a couple things to this bike to refurbish it, but... It doesn't need a whole bunch. The seat's so nice. Uh, under the seat, you know, it's got the it's got the uh, tour. It's got the whole airbox going on. It's got the original tool kit. I mean, those aren't too hard to come by. You can get those on eBay. Everyone flips out over over those, but that is the original one. Uh, pretty damn sweet. Love this bike. Um, jump to another clip real quick here. All right, got some new old stock graphics. The only thing this bike is missing is that. Uh, putting this one on right here. I got my official decal sticker handling that for me right now. And here it is, after shot here. Got the uh, new old stock graphics. I know, I know I keep saying that, new old stock. But uh, yeah, check it out. It really ties up the bike, makes it uh, look almost factory condition again. Um, one little air bubble in that A I gotta work out, but it looks great. I love it with the graphics on. Um, just a little bonus. The first Banshee I ever saw, the first Banshee I ever rode was a 91, exactly like this. So it's cool. Uh, I mean, I never thought I would find one of these. I never thought I would own one. Uh, it's kind of where it all started from. Um, I'll do a quick reminisce here. My, my brother's friend would ride a CR500 and his wife would ride this Banshee and the first time I ever saw a Banshee I was in a sand rail out at like a riding spot in our town and she rolled up on that Banshee right there not this one but the same exact color uh, it had FMF pipes on it but uh, and she had a little kid like a tot like a baby zipped up in her jacket that's how small the baby was it was like the size of a shoebox and this lady like rolls up to the dune spot Following the CR500 on this exact model Banshee with the baby, <laughs> it changed my life. I'll never, I'll never forget that. It's hilarious. Um, and then, yeah, I ended up riding that Banshee about, I don't know, a few years later when I was like 13 years old or something. But anyway, quick reminisce while we look at the bike here. Um, it's all there. It's got, there's, it's missing nothing. 
Um, I just I'm I'm thrilled to own this thing. I can't wait to. Uh, I gotta go through it. The gas in the tank, the oil, that stuff's eight years old. Like the man that uh, had it before me, the original owner, he just had the bike in a. There's the 97. That one's cool too. I'm gonna miss that bike. I have it up for sale right now. Um, super clean, super nice bike as well. But uh, we're about to be into some footage that's not messed up, so I'm gonna quit the voice overs here and uh, we'll get to those. All right. Take a look at those vintage 1991 skull print Fox racing stickers. Uh, they were on either side, on both sides of these fenders. And you'll see there's zero discoloration. No color has been lost. I mean, those stickers have been on this bike since 1991. And there's no color loss at all around it. I was expecting to have like a, a Fox out, you know, like a, a nice, patch where the fox sticker was and then you could see where it was discolored it's not like these plastics are brand new uh the owner told me that when he used to take it riding he would cover it with a tarp like at camp when he wasn't riding it this bike is so freaking pristine uh we're just in love with it man it's it's so nice I cannot believe this bike just started in one kick. I wasn't recording. I was expecting it to take like 10 or 15 kicks. I'd be out here kind of winded. Uh, I'm not gonna run it too long for two reasons. One, the gas is eight years old. It's three reasons. The gas is eight years old. It's got a brand new top end on it. It, it needs to go through the heat cycles and stuff. So I don't, I'm not gonna let it run. And also there's a lady kind of watching what I'm doing right now. So he's doing some sort of malice, I think. Anyway, we'll let that go. Um, but there it is. I mean, Jesus, man. I, I, I really regret not recording that. I swear to God, it started in one kick. Unbelievable. All right, that's it. Close it up here with just one last shot of the bike as we were watching it. Uh, give a like, give a subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. I'll be posting videos of this bike and others coming up. All right, y'all take care. Peace.